But according to the data, marital satisfaction declines up to one year after the birth of your kid. Does it go back up after? I didn't read that far. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who is your partner's celebrity crush? It's Michael B. Jordan. I Michael guess. B. Jordan. I just say that and you're Honestly, a great choice. They both have great bodies. <laughs> okay. Who is most likely to apologize first? Me. Me. No. What's your partner's love language? Yours is acts of service. I feel like your physical touch, but also you're definitely words of affirmation. I don't know which one I am. What is your partner's ick? I mean, you have more than one, that's for sure. Yeah, there's a lot of things. It would be like, what are all 1,000 icks that Abby has? If I had a whole podcast to talk about all your icks, I couldn't do it. What's, What's up, dudes? dudes? And welcome back to the Unplanned Podcast. Here we are. We are here and we are both <laughs> sick. Okay, I am way more sick than you. You are more sick than me. You win the more sick award. Wait, I heard that that's actually um, some a marriage advice thing I looked for. I really? Was, I looked up marriage advice for after you have a baby and yeah. something someone said, or no, I actually think it came on TikTok. Like you can't compare how tired you are with the yes. other person. So that probably goes for sickness as well. Yeah, but that's okay. I think it was good that you looked up that marriage advice. I learned a thing or two in the car. We actually have a marriage book, like a like a couple's book that we were going to read in the car together and then we forgot it. So then we just ended up looking up like articles, <laughs> articles about how to... I think it was literally on parenting.com actually, yeah. citing my sources. But according to uh, the data, most relationships, uh, more, most marital satisfaction declines up to one year after the birth of your kid. Does which it is go really back sad. up after? I didn't read that far. Year. I don't know. Oh, okay. We'll have to see. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> but we've had a really, good, I would say we've had a really good week. You know, we have, we have our highs and lows. I mean, it's lows, only but, Wednesday. I feel like our we this always happens with us. We have the the highest freaking highs and the lowest freaking lows. It's just like er, e, 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 well, you know? we're together all day. Yeah, we like are. if we were separate. I feel like the distance would make the heart grow fonder, and then we come yeah. home and be like so happy. And then right as we're getting sick of each other again, yeah. we go back to work. But yeah, we stay totally. together all day. But I feel like the the. The disagreements good. are always over the stupidest crap. Like last night, we almost got into like a little disagreement over like, well, I kind of, we just kind of stopped talking and then like let it fade out. And then yeah. we were able to come back together. That's maturity. It was, it was about crumble cookies. I don't even remember what it was. It was like the stupidest I crap. remember, but whatever. It's fine. Oh, okay. You're, you're, <laughs> yeah. See, that's the, you can remember it. I can't even remember what it was about. Um, oh, it's fine. But no, it's been a good, it's been a good week. Well, this is my second podcast of the day. So wow. shout out to Ashley Lemieux, our friend. You just and had her on. Grief expert. Yes, yeah. she was just on. I was just on her podcast this morning. So yes. um, check that out. We were talking about postpartum, all things postpartum, yeah. honestly, but mostly like mental health postpartum. Speaking of postpartum, you looking amazing. I cannot believe you gave birth to a baby. Well, I'm wearing a very flowy shirt. Three way the loose fitting clothes are the key to postpartum. No, but you look comfort. so good. I got you an aloe yoga set and you tried it on and you looked amazing thank you honey. amazing it looked like you didn't even have a, a belly at all <laughs> three weeks and six days ago like you're just that's not necessarily it's crazy true, how much your body has changed thank you people were asking abby in the comments like girl how are you like looking so good postpartum and i honestly think that the the reason is i mean i think it's you know a lot of it's genetics but I think well it's also angles and true flattering clothes but i think it's because you're so muscular like you're very strong if you feel <laughs> abby's back she's like built like this girl is very strong and so i think i think just naturally those muscles need fuel and so it just like i don't know like you eat a lot of food you eat as much food as i eat i do eat a lot but of food. but i think you need that food because you're just so muscular thank you well you're, you're clearly more muscular than me so i don't know if that you're a strong woman thank you i appreciate that i think that's my favorite compliment we got to do a spartan race together abby did a spartan race i keep getting texts from them because really? well i stayed on their text stream because i want to know when like the races are uh, but yeah. i need to obviously recover and heal but maybe by the spring we're gonna do a fun episode today because we've had some you know harder topics we need in the to past. lighten this the freak up i'm not gonna mood. cry today i already know did that. you cry in the podcast that you recorded earlier today there was a minute there where i was oh. about to i was like please no <laughs> not kidding. on somebody else's podcast no i'm okay i've embraced the tears like it's just i wear my emotions on my sleeve and i think it's my greatest superpower well let's get into it we're, today we're gonna see who knows who better who honestly gonna, do you think is gonna win are we this? gonna keep score are we gonna do like a general like okay i feel like you won or you think i won? like what are we gonna do here do we want to really like keep, we should keep score you really want to keep score of this oh we don't have to i guess i guess we could i mean okay first of all i know that i know you better because i feel like i almost know you better than you know yourself matt Howard. really yeah like when you go to a restaurant you're like what do i want and i know what you want 
most of the time. But I think there's circumstances where I could say the same for you. No. So. I'm just very – I'm good at listening and I'm good at understanding you, I feel like. Okay. All right. Let's just see. Let's just get into it. Let's see okay. if you actually can back that up with – facts what did your partner wear on your first date do i have literally no idea okay do you have any do you know what i wore on the first date i have probably one of my probably one of those like purple polos that i always wore i had like i went to the you polo wore that on that memorable date that was the pf chang's date yes and we have a photo it's even on my instagram of like our first <laughs> our first picture together and then we put i did hashtag call me nemo remember no that? <laughs> remember please, that, that makes me want to throw up so, why oh did God. you even do that sorry i thought it was funny it was an inside but joke. does that make you feel uncomfortable my, now my older brother told me to put that on the Caption. Caleb told you to put that on the caption. I think I told him. I was like, never mind. I sound weird now. I gotta be. I gotta be careful what I say because like anybody can listen to this podcast <laughs> and be like, you're a weirdo. So let's forget that. Like every like, <laughs> there's like hundreds of thousands of people. We're like, literally just in our house. Yeah, just we're, me just and having, you, and we're just having like, a conversation. Okay, I gotta be careful what I say on this thing. My gosh. But I think well, when I had posted a picture, we had been we had been like officially dating then, and I think I'd grabbed your 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 butt at some point and so i put call me nemo because it's like touch the butt that's so inappropriate now i just feel like a weirdo okay moving right along <laughs> what did i wear on the first date what did oh, you wear so i'm pretty sure i know what i wore because it was like we did something outside Wait, do people we went save hiking that, do people save that for marriage like do people like not grab their spouse's butt cheeks i'm sure that's a bit <laughs> invasive but like Okay. Like, do people not front hug? Is it like side hugs only until you're hey, married? Why are you acting like we are the most <laughs> sheltered people <laughs> in the world? I don't know. I guess everybody has their standard for what they want to follow. But yeah, um, you probably shouldn't have been grabbing my butt like that. Okay. I'm sure you grabbed also, my butt too. I have no By butt. the way, I've seen you slap your dad and your brother on their butt cheeks. So it's just, just it's a friendly thing. That, that's what friendly I did too. Slap. It was just a friendly butt slap. No, it was not. <laughs> Where is this going? Okay, so okay. I'm pretty sure that I had like my cute outdoorsy outfit because we went, we were going to go on a hike. Mm -hmm. We did go on a hike. Yes. And I'm pretty sure I wore my one pair of Lululemon shorts I had that I wore mm -hmm. all the time. I still have them actually. That's cool. Wow. Over seven years later, I still have those shorts. Seven years. Today on my Instagram story, I posted I the video say. of me um, asking you to homecoming when I was like singing and playing guitar. Yes, cute. Um, seven years ago, dude. We've been together a freaking long time. And I think I wore a blue tank top. It'll but be really Crazy. My guess is that you wore one of those Nike mank tops that you were really into, and I almost think it was the purple and yellow one. Do you remember that one? Nope, that wasn't it. I didn't wear it. I don't yeah, think so. Uh, we actually don't even have a picture to back it up, so we have no idea. This okay, one's a complete Okay, so L. we both don't know we, this We one. both don't know. I mean, I don't know why you'd remember that. I guess for some people, it's like very memorable, but... I feel like you were wearing a mank top. I did not wear a mank top to the movies. We went to a movie. You wore a mank top. Not to the You're movies. You're really into Manx, and you still are kind of into Manx. I just start wearing Manx again. I used to love those. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what was that voice you just said? I'm not into those. Okay. Oh my gosh, this question already is grinding my gears, because we both oh, say no. this. Okay, what is it? Just to get on each other. What is it? Who is your partner's celebrity crush? It is Michael B. Jordan. I Michael guess. B. Jordan. I just say that because it's like I don't actually have a celebrity crush, so I just say that one. And I know yours is Kim K. That, but like it's it actually is Michael B. Jordan. Like you, you've told me that for years. I've known that ever since because we got I married. Because I just, it's just my stock answer. Hey, he's for a very that attractive question. man. I've seen all three Creed movies. He's very jacked. Has a great body. You know, I, I can't. And yours, honestly, is Kim a great K. choice. Great choice. Kim K. Also great body. They both have great bodies. What? Okay, so we both got that right, right? Yeah. So do I need to write this down? Yeah, write down one point score? for me, one point okay, for you. Okay, okay. Okay, what is your partner's ideal date night? I don't, what would you say? What would you say for me? I don't even know what mine would be. It says date night, but date are we night. just going to say date in general? Sure, yeah, a date. I feel like for you, you'd want to do something outdoorsy. Mm -hmm. And if we're, at, I think you would probably want to go one wheeling with me or take me on the ripstick. I did just buy you a ripstick because I'm gonna teach. Because if you can ripstick, then you can snowboard, and I want you to You're know how to snowboard. Trying to snowboard in yep. the Phoenix heat in the best way no, to do that. Go, is a ripstick. We can go up north, and we can snowboard up north in the winter time. Don't forget about that. <laughs> we were having dinner with Dallin and Bella, our friends, and I was like, <laughs> in other news, Matt got me a ripstick, and everyone thought that was hilarious. I don't know why they thought it was so funny. I was like, this is just another average day in our household. I just, well, I kind of want a ripstick now, too. I don't know why I bought you a ripstick. I want a ripstick. You can have my ripstick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I want it to be for you. Um, so I think we yeah. do something outdoorsy, maybe outdoorsy. hike. You know what made me wheel, sad? No, made me really then... sad in Hawaii. You never would surf with me in, to, in Hawaii. I, Babe, wanted, I... I wanted to be that like hot surf couple that just like gets on the surfboard together. Like tandem surfing, we could have gone tandem surfing. Honey. And we never. Do you know I really wanted to be that hot surfer girl for but you? But I feel like you never gave it a shot. Oh, I did. 
You did? I did. The thing is, I was learning how to surf. When I you almost were learning how to died. Surf. No, you did not almost die. You just can't hold your breath for more than three seconds. Exactly. Honey. That's why I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> literally i matt i tried i sent it out there in the choppiest coldest waves for you abby it wasn't even that cold people were if it was cold people about? would be wearing wetsuits and people weren't wearing wetsuits. no no one else was out in the water it was at castles that day that's like the beginner spot honey that's not like an intense area no i'm telling you no one else was out there it was cold it was very windy that's a very windy spot i think we need to teach you how to swim first and then maybe it'll be i went good. surfing several times like maybe three or four more than that Every time, I don't think it was a good experience for you. So I just didn't like Except it. Except for Waikiki, you did I get up. I have to be true to myself. Yeah, and Waikiki, you got up, which was actually really cool. I was really proud of you. And that's because we had friends with us that were like way better surfers than I was, and they were coaching you through it because I was still learning, so I just didn't know what to tell you to do, right? Yeah, I had fun there. That's good. I really wanted to be that for you. And same with the snowboarding. I do it more for you than for myself because I'm mm -hmm. like, I want to do this for you, but oh, it's just not in my blood. I think for you, it's Wait, I need to finish your date. Oh, okay. And then, I mean, I, you're right. It's an outdoorsy thing. Some, some okay. sort of activity Okay, because I feel like you like to bond and connect over an activity. It's more fun. Or something really, like, I would either, I would usually lean towards that, but I can really enjoy the romance side. Wait, well, what, what, I think or, that's what you would want. Let me and just what do tell, you mean by romance? Let me tell you the perfect date, okay? This is what for I- For you or for me? This is for you. Okay. And this is what I did for your birthday. Two years ago. Oh, this take was you, the perfect day. Take you out to a really nice dinner. Food. And then get you a nice gift. Well, I, I was just like, I think I got you chocolate covered strawberries and um, flowers. And then we sit at this like super Wait, fancy hotel. Did you get me a Kindle? I got you a Kindle too. I got you so many gifts. Yeah, I just I just spoiled you for, for your Wait, birthday. Wait, you got me chocolate covered strawberries? I did. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Or actually, wait, I think it was a complimentary thing with yeah, the hotel. Yeah, that's what I thought. So yeah, we stay at this super nice hotel in Springfield, Missouri, where we went to college. It was like a boutique, it's really cute hotel. Hotel V, v. it's the name of they it. They had a record player in there. It was very romantic. It was very romantic. Yeah. And we watched a Christmas movie. That's always good. Okay, sorry, I keep going, because there was more to your date than that. Oh, no, that yeah. was actually it. And then that's where I was like, wait a second, maybe I like the more rom romantic stuff, because when I really send it on the romantic stuff, then somehow your clothes fall off, and then it's Matthew! Just, and then that's in the... I I much rather do that than go on a hike with you. Let me just be honest. <laughs> so anyway, um, that would be, I think that would be your perfect date is a really nice dinner. We went to Flame Steakhouse, which is actually where Abby and I used to work in college. And we had a creepy manager. It's across from Black Sheep and owned by the same people. Owned by the same people. But the management at the time, the 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 hired GM oh, yeah. ended up going to prison. <laughs> and um, we actually got fired from that job. But it's because this guy was just sketch. And I, don't, I hope. I, I don't know what happened to that guy. I don't know if he's still in jail. I don't know what happened. Maybe I shouldn't even be talking about that on the podcast. I don't know. I think you should say allegedly. All of that is alleged. We don't know for sure. It was a, a, a <laughs> interesting situation at our first job in college. So we worked there. But everybody but then was we really still wanted to go back there once we no longer once yeah. we already got fired because Allegedly. the food is so good. No, we actually did get fired. Yeah, we did get fired though. Um, yeah. Anyway, the reason I bring up that they also own Black Sheep is because James, James Charles. Charles just went there and <laughs> it was so fun seeing like a celebrity like that go back to where we like our stomping grounds when where we went go, to college. When do you go from being an influencer to a celebrity? Like when does that happen? Because I think James Charles mm. would be considered a celebrity. I don't, he was a cover girl. That's true. That's probably when he that happened. He was like, I'm pretty sure was on Ellen we, could have, we were this close to being celebrity status because People Magazine wanted to feature our birth photos exclusively and then we didn't send them in time and posted them before they did and then apparently we had to send them to them first. So then we, they were like, we don't want to I don't ever want to cross that threshold. So. Oh, you don't want to be a celebrity? No, you can cross that threshold. I can with cross your, it. With I can be a music person? Yes. But you don't want to do it? You just want to be- I'll be your groupie. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what do you want to be? What do you want your title to be, Abby? Um, mom. That's sweet. Yeah. Maybe, I'll, like maybe I'll come up with another title sometime. You told me yesterday that you might be interested in writing a book or doing like a, a cooking children's show. Book. Or it could, be, yeah, maybe do a cooking show. Or an actress. Show. You could be a good actress. Or it could be an actress. You're maybe. a really good actor. Probably not in this season, but maybe in the next season. When is that season? I don't know. Whenever I feel... Is that season two? That's season... No, no, no. We're already on like season five. Oh, okay. Of Abby's eras. Abby's eras. You're in your mom era right I'm now. I'm in my new mommy era. Era. New, new. I'm actually still in the postpartum era. Okay. 
postpartum era means we can't think about anything else. Nice. Other than tomorrow, or actually till the next hour. Well, I think we both get a we both get a point. For yeah, that. we both got we that. We pretty one right. much crushed it on both sides of that. Mm-hmm. So. What's your partner's favorite home cooked meal? Oh, that's Ooh. fun. So we're talking about meals that like I cook. I can't I'm, do meals that you cook for me. Uh, yes, you can. Ready for it? Yellow curry salmon. from the restaurant by our no, house. Oh, salmon. I make the best salmon. Oh, you grill it. Yeah, that is my favorite. I grill salmon, and then we use our microwavable rice packs, which it makes the rice perfectly. You can buy them at Costco. This is not an ad. This is just my it's personal BB opinion. It's BB Go sticky rice. It's, <laughs> it's so, so good. good. And we put, uh, we put sweet side chili sauce on the sticky rice. Yeah, we got this all from and Bella. Then, and then, yeah, this is all from our friends down the Bella. And the soyaki from... Trader Joe's. That's true. And then the uh, there's Lemon. a local there's a local uh, grocery store that seasons the salmon. I don't know what type of seasoning they do on the salmon, but it's amazing. It's marinated. And, the and trick it's actually to, not local. It's that trick, sprouts. Oh, it's called sprouts. But the trick to... I thought sprouts is a local place. Is I don't, that, I is don't that think not local? So. No, okay. I don't think so. But the trick to making great salmon like I do is to use a thermometer, which I'm not I'm not really that like gifted in the area of cooking, but I do know that if you cook meat to the correct temperature and don't over cook it it's gonna taste really good not to keep going on this uh tangent but if you cook the salmon in the foil yeah i think it keeps it way more moist than if you just put it on the grill you don't just lose all that moisture yeah okay so that's my favorite that you cook so thanks for grilling that salmon of course i think it's 145 degrees i think that's what you cook it to Mm. you got to take it off the grill early because it still cooks after you're right take it off the grill you do it excellently thank you and you do make the broccoli you got to give you that and i microwave the rice and i prepare the well it depends sometimes i microwave the rice so (laughs) okay um Um, i think your favorite meal that i cook that's really tough why do i feel like you love my ziti this is oh i do love your ziti but you gotta come on dude this is easy money you know this is the meal i always beg you for oh greek food yes greek food every single week if we lived in greece that would be amazing the only thing that i would do is i feel like it's probably the most american greek food so i am hesitant for any we got viewers we got euros in greece and they were delicious when we were on the island of Mykonos. But we're talking about home-cooked meals. Yeah, but you just said that we wouldn't like the Greek food if we went to Greece. We would like it. No, no, no. That's not what I said. I'm saying... Oh, your version my is My version is, is probably American. Yeah, it is. It is American. It's more like a kava, Greek style, you know? Yeah. But it's really good. Thank you. Okay, we both got a so point. So we both got a point? Gosh, we know each other really well. We are. Oh, this is really a lot sweet. Of time um a picture of I have my phone cycle through pictures of you as my screensaver and this how is you. How do you do that? But, oh, I forget how I set it up. Night. It's the one of us on our wedding night. This is Abby. She's so pretty. Thank you. In your wedding dress. What's your partner's favorite movie? I know yours. Oh yeah, you know mine. Go. It's with the guy with the I, he's crap. like the music. I always get this wrong for you too cuz like I always want to say The Grinch or Elf, but it's not a Christmas movie. Wait, maybe it is a Christmas. No, I don't want it to be a Christmas movie. Yeah, Christmas you, you're movie such a Christmas fanatic. Your favorite I Christmas am. movies are, are Elf, The Grinch, and I think Christmas Vacation. I'm literally googling this movie right now because I'm not going to get this wrong. I can just tell it to you. No, think, no, 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 don't. Don't, don't, don't. You, if you're Googling it, that doesn't count. You're cheating. Well, I can't think of the name of it, but I, if I can pull it up, I can't Google Matt Howard's favorite movie. I don't well, this, think you how can is use this cheating? F- I don't think you can use your phone. That doesn't count with the movie with, what's it, Michael Keaton? Who's Michael Keaton? It's with Ansel Elgort. Yes, and him. Yeah, Ansel Elgort is Baby Driver. And Driver's. it's, ah, <laughs> hey, <laughs> can I get that right? <laughs> Uh, if I you can get it right if I can get mine right for I all three get of my anything. I named your top three Christmas movies so if we can have a that's everybody's top three Christmas movies hey, that does let's not just have a no. mutual agreement shake hands give me a second to think about we'll my favorite movie some, we'll both get points see if you have to really think about it then you don't even have one no You're I just, do oh I I thought of one and I told you this was my favorite movie recently so actually you have to get it right to get the point I don't know what I is it I told you what is it Abby Captain Phillips when did you tell me that <laughs> last week. <laughs> Gosh. Do you remember it now? My favorite? My you kind of remember when, it now that no, I told you that. No, I don't remember that. that at all. But that is a very... I love that movie, too. Maybe I could say that's my favorite movie, too. I'm the captain now. I, that's a really good part. Oh, I love you, it. You, you should know, watch that. Wait, wait. I wanted to say my favorite movie moment with you is after we get done watching that one movie on the airplane. It's the one with... Uh, is is it Leonardo DiCaprio and oh, Matt Damon? Oh, I love that one. What's the, it called? This, the Departed. The Departed. I love that it one. It was so good gruesome and graphic and everyone gets murdered the mafia. there's it's the mafia it was a really good movie it was so free good. on the airplane we I think should watch that, that again such a freaking good movie but we're what we liked watching violent movies if you can't tell um <laughs> abby is a sweet little lady but she loves violence and she likes to watch game of thrones too so um but anyway we watched the movie and you tell me you're like you know what i love about that movie matt is there it's wasn't a good, single clean entertainment it was, it was violent but there it was wasn't clean. a single cuss word throughout the whole entire thing i'm like abby they said the f-bomb 
every 30 seconds. We looked it up. They said they the literally, F word eight. I think it was 300 Astonishing times. Astonishing amount Wait, of Wait, let times. me look this up. The Departed. I looked this up afterwards. Says like, I Abby, I think I've never seen the movie more where they like. I'm, I'm so disappointed in they myself. They cussed so I much. I went ear blind. I think you just got so used to it. That's so sad. I should never get numb to the F word. Okay. <laughs> the Departed F bomb count. Do you want to guess? Oh my gosh. 300. It says 237. No, that's so awful. I'm not proud of that. Okay, so um, I got that one right, but you got that one wrong. 237 Give F-bombs. Give me a point. That's so many. That's more That's more than an F-bomb per minute. How many minutes is it? 60 minutes in an hour, and so it's like a two-hour long movie. Oh, that's awful. So, that's- oh, oh my gosh. Wait, no, that's like two F-bombs a minute. That's horrible. I don't know how you didn't hear that. I don't know how they even fit that many in. That's pretty how impressive. How do they have a- enough time for that one and any other words? I know. That's a really good point. That's a, we, They should get an award for that. Most F-bombs in a movie. No, it's Wolf of Wall Street. How many F-bombs do they have in Wolf of Probably Wall Street? Probably 400. <laughs> Let's look it up. How many F-bombs Which, by the way, F-bombs that movie, in Wolf. I liked it, but it was overhyped. Wolf of Wall Street? It just went on oh, too long. Oh, yeah. You're right. They, they annihilated. It's a long movie. They annihilated the record. Do you know how many F-bombs there are? 400. Yes. More. Ooh. More. 500? Yeah, a little bit more. No way. 569 F-bombs. That's inappropriate. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I get a point. You don't get a point. No, we both get a point. I'm giving us both a point. You did not say Captain Phillips. We're tied. And I said, no, I, you had to think about it for like a minute and you couldn't even. How were you giving, if anything. Whatever, I'll come back and win later. I'll put a zero for me right there. Okay. You can, wait, give me a half point. It's fine. Because I knew the movie, I just couldn't think of the title. You get a point. Okay, what's next? What's your partner's coffee order? Your coffee order is anything with very little coffee and a lot of cream and sugar and so for you it's going to be a <laughs> s'mores frappuccino but unfortunately it's limited time only at starbucks right. but you try to order it any time of the year and you're always shocked when they don't have it uh, that's not a coffee that's a milkshake abby so it's no. a, it didn't say what's your partner's milkshake order it, <laughs> it's not it's a milkshake it's, it's a frappuccino a, it's a milkshake okay your coffee order yeah what's my what's my coffee order dude you don't even know your own i don't coffee even order. know honestly dude we both cycle through it's not like you have a set coffee order you I don't have give a an set, answer that would be right though. I don't have a set coffee order. Give me give me an answer. Okay, there's a couple different ones for you. So it used to be a, a black and white um latte at Starbucks. Dude, you're still stuck on ha- that. That was freshman year of college. With half the syrup. No, that was when we were newly married. And I think you were still getting it, but it wasn't my order. What? I still like that though. Now and then for a little bit one. it was pistachio. That's limited also. And then well, right now we're in fall, so you're doing pumpkin spice lattes. Yes, but what? do I like it cold or hot? Or blended. Ooh, that is a tricky one. Because we did get it cold from Duncan the other day. By the way, you like Duncan. I don't know why you like Duncan. I'm I'm definitely like <laughs> killing our chances of ever getting a Duncan sponsorship, but Don't do that. I don't think it's that good. Why do you like Duncan Donuts so much? It's economical. But their coffee isn't good and their donuts aren't good. Their hot coffee isn't good, no. You just like to get their um their munchkins and you No, just, not their munchkins. You're the little egg thing, the little yeah, egg the sandwich. Yeah, the veggie egg white bites and the everything bagel stuffed okay. minis. Yeah, pumpkin spice latte. That's your order. Okay, but that's not... You didn't answer hot, cold, or blended. Not Definitely not blended. The mod that you do is half the the sweetener yes what threw me off at duncan the other day is they gave us syrup. they gave us a cold one and i didn't know we didn't specify iced or hot i don't think we did but which one do i like hot yes there we go even if it's 100 degrees i like hot I, i'll get a latte hot half sweetened i'll give you a point i'm gonna give myself a point too. okay yeah you get a point too this is kind of freaky people are like no, people watching this are gonna just know us so well gonna be like i brought you your oh yeah it's so personal our coffee order that's very vulnerable of us to share hey sorry to interrupt if you could please share this podcast with someone that entered into a new relationship maybe they would enjoy it maybe this would be something fun for them to listen to because i don't know if you guys knew this but abby and i are married and we've been together for seven years could also share it with maybe um you could share it with your waxer whoa that would be pretty cool they're already getting personal so that would be an interesting job to wax someone that would be a weird. We need those just people. every single day show up and just wax people's bodies. Yeah. How how interesting would that be? They've seen it all. I'm sure there's someone watching our podcast right now that has, that that's their. Tell job. us what it's like. It's probably what? just not even weird for them. They must have some crazy the stories. Share it with your waxer. Thank you, and back to the episode. <laughs> What is your partner's ick? I mean, you. Have, I mean, you have more than one. That's for sure. You have, yeah, there's it's a not, lot of things. It would be like, what are all one thousand icks that Abby has? And I couldn't answer that. 
in one podcast. If I had a whole podcast to talk about all your icks, I couldn't do it. Okay, one that I do that okay that you think that is icky. First of all, wearing shoes in the house. Wearing shoes in the house is pissing me off. Because <laughs> their floor, my feet get dark. Do I have when dark I feet? eat okay. food off the floor? I luckily I don't have dirt in my feet right now. But if when I walk around our floors, my feet turn black because people keep wearing shoes in our house. I wear shoes in the house because I don't want to stub my toe. <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> you can wear shoes if you ask Abby. That's a good reason. That's the stupidest reason I've ever heard. Also, another reason Griffin steps on my feet all the time and it hurts very I do bad. I run into your feet sometimes too. And when you I go, run into my feet. When I go to kiss and you. And also, Griffin and his little rolling rock walker thing yeah. hurts my feet. Sometimes I like go to give you. I'm so awkward and clumsy. Sometimes I'll go to give you like a hug or kiss and I'll like run into your feet. You're like, I'm like kissing your- a girl now. And then you just run into <laughs> Yeah, I'll just like run into you. Um, okay, yeah. Another that ick one, that I have that you have about me is when I um eat things off the floor. Wear things in bed that I wore throughout the day. That can be gross. Yeah. Like if we were in like say we were like walking around Chicago or, or New York and then you just get into the sheets with what you were wearing out yeah, in the streets. To take a nap. You don't yeah, like that. Yeah, you go no, don't do that. Um another thing it was when I eat off the floor. You don't like Eating that. Eating off the floor is just gross. Why would you do that? <laughs> okay, now name some icks. Chewing. The biggest one is always going to be the chewing. Yeah, but that's a cop out. You can't then do that. You have to do, do something specific. I don't know what this... Does this mean that I have ADHD or that I'm OCD? No, I don't like that. I do this weird thing with my... Everybody look that's at this. That's not an ick. I do this with my fingers. And then I'll do like random... My my leg will also bounce up and down. Like I'll like... Just the like leg shaking is kind of an ick. Shake egg, my but, egg. But- my leg. <laughs> I shake my head. Why do you think that was so funny? Shake my egg. <laughs> you never shake your egg? So weird. I didn't mean to like say that. It was like when my mom the other day in the car, she was trying to say the word mittens. And she said, I had these large muffins. <laughs> like, I got my big coat on, my scarf, my hat, my boots, and my large muffins. <laughs> She meant mittens. That's too. I I can't. That's so funny. We oh. were both crying. It was so stupid. It's a little large, thing. My large mom. <laughs> Shake my egg. Okay. Wow. Oh. No, Matt. Gosh. Your fingers and your okay. leg shaking aren't icks, really. Uh. But I think you're, I know what you're our on audi- the same, our, our you're on the same is, wavelength. Our audience is sick is that we always don't wear shoes on our podcast and our, <laughs> our freaking dogs are that's out. Your, <laughs> that's your dongs. Do- dogs. I said dogs, not, not dogs. Yeah, your guys' ick is that we have our toes out and sometimes we I'm should. like, touch my toes. Don't, Matt, that's going to go on a pornography site. <laughs> that's going to go. Oh my gosh, it is. I no, don't they don't like that. it when I touch Wait, my toes either. Can we take a second? And they don't like it when my toes touch you either. Wait, how is it that people get off to feet? I don't understand that. Matt, at all. how does that even logistically work? No, here's my theory: is that those so people weird. that find that actually like as a fetish yeah. are overblown. Like there really yeah. cannot be that many people. That's probably like most of our viewers. It's then, probably because 1%. we never wear our shoes on our on our podcast. No, I episodes. think they just are grossed out by it. That's totally oh, different. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. No, they don't like it. Okay, so your guys' is ick is when we touch our toes, when you can see our toes, or when my toes touch Matt. Yeah. Okay, no, you're so close, but the fingers don't count. The leg okay. doesn't count. It's when you... I, like, whack things. No? I'll, no, no, no. Uh, sometimes I'll breathe a song, so I'll be, like, breathing the beat of a song. So if I'm singing, like, Rewrite the Stars from The Greatest Showman, I'll be like... <sighs> I'm not doing it. I'll be like, I'll breathe the rhythm of it. I used to do that when I ran cross country. I'd breathe the rhythm of a song. Is your shirt on backwards? Um, no, it is not. Um, no, it's when you wiggle your toes, and I can hear how dry oh, they are. Oh, when I do this, I'll uh, make my t- my big toe, and then my um vomiting immediately. My vomiting. ring finger is that my ring finger toe? Yeah, no, the one right next to my big toe. I'll like rub them against each other, and Abby hates that, especially if I have dry so feet. Dry. I have so many icks about you, but I don't want to just you have dig a lot. into you right you have now. A lot. I want to be nice. Name like two other ones. What are two other ones? Um, when you spit in the sink and you don't rinse it out. You hate when I gargle in the shower. <laughs> no, I just find that odd. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I did. I do that to clear my throat. Matt, I have, why would you I spit get a lot in of the con- sink and not rinse it? out? I do rinse it out. My brothers don't rinse it out, and I think that's super disgusting. And they so also you're don't lift me the your lid when they are pee. Coming to my our... brothers also don't lift the lid when they pee, and you... I think that's disgusting. Okay, well you lift. If you're you a man, leave it lifted. 
I leave it lifted. And well, I almost no, fall I put, in the toilet sometimes. No, I've gotten better about it's that. It's just a and hazard put, in my own house. <laughs> I've gotten better and now I put both lids down. That way, your mom taught me this. She said that she made a really good point. She's like, everybody should have to do something when they're going to the bathroom. So if you always close my it. My mom com- taught you this? She did. She made a good point. Because it's like, if you always close it all the way after you're done, then if you're a woman, you you know, open it up to go to the bathroom and then you close it. And if you're a guy, you can just like m- open it up completely to go pee and then close both lids. Does I that think make we sense? should do that just so we don't have a toddler getting in our toilet because he That's was also true. playing Griff, in the toilet I, water. I caught time. Griffin putting his hands in the toilet one time. He thought it was a, a bowl of water. Yeah, just Griffin to play also with. already pooped on the floor the other day. That's, well, that's an egg I have about Griffin. That's because your dad <laughs> changed his diaper and didn't put it on all the way. Well... So, um, thanks, Matt. Okay, I'm gonna give us both a point there. Right now, Abby's in the lead. Um, she's beating me currently. Another ick I have about you, I don't know if this is, I'm actually using ick properly, but when you're watching something that you already know what's gonna be said or sung, you mouth it. I don't know why I do that. My so mom weird. does that too. I don't know what that is. You mouth it as it's happening. Maybe and it's it like, kind of just like freaks me out. If I'm watching myself sing or like watching myself say something, it freaks me. I don't know why I do that. I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening. I, I, like, I'll be looking I really at the screen even, and then I like look back at you. And I'm like, oh my I gosh, even, why is he doing sorry, that? I don't know why I do that. What's your partner's biggest fear? Oh man. Oh, I know for yours. Uh, yours is claustrophobia. You hate elevators and you hate being in tight spaces. Mm, is it my biggest fear? That's definitely a big one. Well, how, like, I mean, how deep are we losing going? Losing your babies would be a big... That yeah. was really sad. Sorry. I don't want to even say that. Yeah. Sorry. That's, that is right though. Or you... Okay, your biggest fear, I feel like, is being stuck. Like, being limited. Being tied down. Being yeah, held down. that's true. That's a good, that's you're, a good point. You're a free-range man. Which, not to say that my, like, I, like, I, I want to echo your biggest fears, too. Like, obviously. You're not, just covering your butt go, right now. No, but not to, like, obviously, that's, I feel like that's a given. Yes. You know? I know. So then I'm like, maybe I shouldn't count that, and maybe my biggest fear should be listed as... Claustrophobia. Mm-hmm. What? What am I afraid of? <gasps> You're afraid of possums. Yes. Ew. No offense to possums, but no offense I to have them. a phobia of them. Yeah, they are kind of creepy looking. Okay, so do we both get those right? Uh, I'm going to say yes. Why are you looking at me like I that? I have a fear of yours, but I don't think I should say it on the internet. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> but I got it right. You got it right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're all going to be like guessing in the comments, like say the most random crap for what yeah, my they're gonna go, they're they're gonna, gonna go. They're going to go crazy. They're going to go crazy because like, what gonna is be it right? that we can't say? Nobody's going to be right by the way. Maybe they will be. Give us your best shot. What is your partner's favorite thing about their job? For you, it's getting to be home with your babies. Yes. And to have like the flexibility to like, yeah. like tomorrow during the work day, I get mm-hmm. to go to Griffin's gymnastics class. That's awesome. That's, that's great. That's a true Give me gift. Nuts. That is a that true gift. That if I had to go show up at a nine to five, like, I wouldn't be able to do that. So I'm going to echo that one. I love that one too. But what, would, what was another one you'd say I think me? yours would be that you get to be creative and Bingo. have and there's a business element too. Bingo. And just getting to like when I was a kid, I used to put on little little shows. And you get to entertain. And sing. And yeah, I think just like working in entertainment is fun because mm-hmm. I always wanted to do that in some aspect. And this didn't even exist when we were kids. So there was no way we could have even known that this was something that we could do. I don't know you why know? I just thought of this, but thinking about like when we used to perform and stuff, I was dancing for Griffin while he was eating breakfast the other day. Mm-hmm. And the, I said, hey, Google, play. Wait, this is going to make someone's Google go off. Do it. That'll be hilarious. Hey, Google, play Disney classics. And I, <laughs> when I did that. It, it just made someone's Google go off. The first so song funny. that came up was the most random song. And it goes, we're pollinators, pollinators. It, from The Bug's Life. Da, 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 I don't, da, da, I see, I know that movie, but I don't remember that song. Well, why would you? It was the most random yeah. song to yeah. pull up. And so I was like doing a little cane dance for yeah. Griffin. And then the next song that came up was When You Wish Upon a Star. And you guys, I told Matt this this morning. The craziest thing happened. I look over at Griffin and he's not whining or really making a sound. He just has the saddest face and he reaches up for me and he has a big crocodile tear going down his eyes. And I was like, wait, did he just get touched by this song? So I like said something and then, or I I thought it in my head and I said something to my mom. I don't know if he's capable of having those emotions yet. Flash forward to this morning, she's playing Disney songs for him during breakfast. 
And the same thing happens. You know what? I think he gets that from me because I'm not a very emotional person, but music makes me emotional. It's why I like music no, Matt, so much. That happened to me as a kid too, though. Really? It would make you cry if you heard a, a sad, like an yes. emotional song? The song really. um, from Toy Story would make me sad. Really? When somebody loves you. Dun, dun, you know that one song that's like, dun, 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 dun. and I could dance with Stop, stop, stop. That song actually wrecks me. Stop, stop. Sorry, it's actually, stop. I said I'm not crying this one. But the other song that made me sad as a kid. That one at a wedding? Oh. Don't that, even. That that makes but me But imagine if you had a emotional. little girl. I can't. I can't do that. No, but the song that makes me that made me sad as a kid was Chim Chimney, Chim Chimney, Chim Chim Cherry. Which is funny because the words aren't sad, but I could feel that there's a, it's a minor. It's a, isn't that song minor? I don't know. It is a minor song. So then a I minor. could feel the. See, you were a choir kid. I never did choir. I played guitar and sang. That was like my musical side in addition You're to really musical You're really just going to label me as a choir kid. You were, choir, you were a show choir kid, more specifically. We're pollinators. <laughs> okay, back to the questions. Where did we, we got like so, so off topic. Sorry about that. Sorry, guys. Um, what do we win? So if you win or I win, what do we get? A uh, kiss. How about a make out? Honestly, I just want a cheeseburger. A cheeseburger. Thanks. You get a cheeseburger whether you win or lose. I can't stop thinking about cheeseburgers. How about we have a, a trophy that is a participation trophy, and that would be a cheeseburger. Deal. And you can have mine if you want it. No. I'm just being nice. Can we go to In and Out after this? I filmed of two course. podcasts. Of today. course. Yeah. Work my butt of off. Course. Okay. <laughs> Um, what's your partner's love language? I feel like your physical touch, but also you're definitely words of affirmation. I don't know which one I am. I like quality time too. Mm. I really enjoy Like yesterday on the way to Crumble, I just wanted to spend time with you. No, like I, I, I feel that. And I purposely wanted to drive to the really far away Crumble that had the waffle cookie because I wanted to just talk to you. No, I agree. I feel like we're craving quality time, not necessarily because it's actually our love language, but maybe just because it's harder to come by nowadays. Yeah, that's true. But I feel like what makes you feel loved is probably um words of affirmation yeah probably you love that yeah i think i do what's my love actually you're right because i give you a lot you give what you like a lot and i give you a lot of words of affirmation mm. yeah. what's my love language yours is called uh, is uh, acts of service yeah but i think it's becoming quality time because it's harder yeah. to come by yeah i just like i like acts of service because it it's like oh you were thinking about me mm. yep <laughs> And that's what I've realized too, because I'm like, what if this, like this thing that I'm doing isn't exactly what she wants, but it's just the fact that I thought about you, which exactly. makes a big difference. Exactly. Hey, real quick. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I'm releasing music on Spotify. My name is Matt Howard. In case you didn't know, our last name is Howard. And um, I would appreciate if you guys could follow my Spotify account and save my song, Falling in Love. Um, it's the song that I wrote for our son, Augie. It was in our birth vlog. Um, and it would just mean a lot. So if you could do that, I'd really appreciate it. Now back to the episode. What's your partner's dream job as a kid? Yours is definitely being an actress. Mm -hmm. What was mine? I mean, I really think yours was being an actor, like being a, a Broadway performer, but now, but then you also had a part yeah. of you that wanted to be a singer. What's weird, something that I realized too. Like a, an artist. Something I'd be open to one day that I never even thought about was like, <laughs> would probably be like directing or like doing some sort of behind the scenes work in a film or movie. Because that's what I, I loved to do that when I was a kid. And that's kind of what I do when I put together our YouTube videos. Like, that's what I'm doing. I'm like trying to tell a story through all these life experiences that we've been through. And I'm like, okay, what's the story here? How do I make this, keep this like entertaining? Um, and that's what directors and producers and like all the, like it, it falls into that category. So mm -hmm. that could be really fun. Okay, who is more likely to deal with a spider? Me. Abby. So we both got that right. Yeah. Why do you, you just love bugs. I'm the exterminator in the house. You are the exterminator in the house. And we even pay for pest control. I don't like killing them, but if they're in my house, <laughs> the, outside, I won't, you'll never see me kill a bug outside. <laughs> but if it's in your house. Not my house. You know what's sad is I feel bad. For, I try not to kill them now. I try to get like a cup or something because I just like, I feel so bad for them. Like I don't want to kill a living thing. It's so sad, you know? It's a life. Even if it's a bug, it's still but alive. If they broke into your they house. They made a whole movie about that. It's called the bu A Bug's Life. But if they broke into your house? They just snuck in. They didn't break in. They didn't break anything. Sometimes they do. Termites? You but we them? haven't had any termites. If it's a termite, I'd kill that termite. But okay. I'm talking about like, I don't know, a moth. Okay, well, then they're <clears throat> intruders. That's true. That's illegal I, here's also. Where I get frustrated with bugs if they multiply. So it's like... That's, that's the only reason that I them. would kill them because I'm like, ah, oh, crap. I don't want this thing to make more. Let me tell you, Matt. If they know itself. how to get in, they'll know how to come back in. Yeah. And now they're making babies in your house. That's just, that's weird. That's a breach of privacy, you know? Breach of privacy? Yeah. <laughs> what? 
Okay, I don't know if that's what you meant to say. <laughs> what what did I mean to say then? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, what is your favorite memory of us together? Okay, so you're answering what my favorite memory is. Yeah. I don't want to say the wedding day. I don't want to say the wedding day because that's like such an easy one. That's like I feel like that's a cop out. Like oh, the wedding. I feel like some of your best memories are when we travel (laughs) together. Yeah. And so I'm gonna say maybe our first trip to Hawaii. That was magical. When we went to the Big Island. That's your favorite memory. Yeah. Well, that convinced us to move to Hawaii. Okay. So what's my favorite? It just was so exciting because we were young and newly married and hadn't really like gotten to travel together and like. Here we are going to freaking Hawaii. Are you tearing up? I don't know. I just, it was just so, it it was so exiting. And it just like changed my perspective of like life and the world. We hadn't traveled together that much at all. Yeah, it was, it was really, really special. (laughs) It was really, really fun. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it just, it inspired me. I'm like, man, we can live. We can, we can leave the Midwest. We've, I'd spent my whole life in Missouri surrounded by, you know, cornfields and Mm -hmm. not, not that I lived near a cornfield because actually you lived by a cornfield and I grew up by the city, but like, you know what I mean? It just, it was just like such a small, the world was small to me and I'm like, man, this, we're in this massive world and there's so much to do. And, um, I was getting into hiking too. So we did a lot of hikes there. Mm Mm-hmm. Another one for me would be our LA trip. When we went to LA, we fa- we found these like really cheap flights for like 50 bucks and flew backpack only, stayed in LA for a couple of days. Mm-hmm. Um, you pooped your pants. I pooped my pants. We That's um, my favorite memory. We went to we, <laughs> we tried the we made this YouTube video called The Weirdest Foods and trying the weirdest foods in you LA. You guys should watch it. It's actually it was so funny. funny. That's why I pooped my pants. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Because we it. ate, because we oh. ate the weirdest foods in LA. Watch it, and knowing that Matt pooped his pants. Yeah, after that. I mean it's because we ate some funky we stuff. We ate some tentacles. We ate tentacles. We ate this funky grilled cheese that was colored like a rainbow. But that was just exciting. It was just like, man, the world is our oyster. There's so much, so much life to live, so much to do. I think I was, I was like discovering my love for travel at that point with you because I didn't really travel a whole bunch as a kid. Our family trips were mainly to like the lake, and then we'd go to uh 30a florida um like destin when i was a kid so i don't know it was just like it was it was fun discovering all these new things and getting to do that with you my best friend was just magical yeah okay yours initially i was like the wedding but i feel like that's a cop out then i thought about the the memory um two days after we got home from the hospital we were um in the in the loft upstairs and we had it was me you griffin and augie all just like playing together i was playing with griffin and i think you were holding augie and you started crying because you were like this is all i've ever wanted and i thought like oh that's probably that was probably really special for you to like realize why we have our family because i know family was really really important to you you know yeah, and seeing you, you be a dad to our two boys for the first time really like in a normal family setting was like really really a sweet memory yeah I'm there's probably something all the cool things that we've done like that, a travel like, like a travel a experience travel that's what I you're feel thinking like of me and you hiking and being at the top of moro rock and just watching the sunset oh, so more rock in la would be um well that's not in la but it's four hours outside of la i would say that and there's just some funny memories too like i have of just like so many good memories of our first year of marriage living in that tiny apartment when we were in low-income housing yeah. in college um that was like so many sweet memories i wonder how many of our memories are like fully accurate as in like when we look at the past we always glamorize it i think we always romanticize the past i think we this sounds kind of morbid but i think we kind of do that for dead people too like I, you know how like if someone passes everyone this is such a matt howard thing okay but I, w- I was thinking about this i heard this on a podcast and i was like oh my gosh you're so right someone passes and you never hear about like man they sucked <laughs> you know what like it's a n- word for that like, yeah, were like, you martyr? Nobody ever talks about someone that passed as if they were a bad person. Well, and, because and that's even not if really they, a good thing to do. True, and and I don't blame people, but I'm just saying like we truly do glamorize and romanticize the past. And so I wonder like how many of our past memories were actually truly incredible, and how many we just made up to be better than they actually were in our, in our brains because our brains do that. We had a lot of really fun car rides too, like yeah. road trips together. There was a really fun memory. Um, that I, man, we got to hang out with that our, these friends again, but our friends, uh, Grant and Shaylee, this like random couple that DM'd us f- off of TikTok. Well, they're not a random couple, not, but okay. at the time they were random. We, yeah, we didn't know who they were. Because we didn't know who they were. Um, but we had just started TikTok. This was September of 2020. So this was three years ago. They sent us a DM like, hey, you guys should come like stay with us and we should go hiking. And, mm-hmm. and we were like, 
okay. And we booked our flights for like, I think four days after we responded to the DM. It, it was so quick. Such a fun, um, the only reason spontaneous that, trip. Yeah, the reason that it worked out was because they, uh, and we vlogged this trip. A lot of these, that's the other cool thing. This makes me like almost want to vlog more because it's kind of cool to go back on these memories. Like we, I vlogged that trip with Grant no, and No, Matt, I was listening. Uh, Jess and Gabe, they make vlogs, which right now we're in a hard time. To, it's it's hard to make vlogs that we're going to really want to look back on because yeah. we're not showing our kids' faces. And Yeah. But they make vlogs of like, special, like their first Christmas with Micaiah, but they're just private. Like oh, they that's don't cool. post them. So they have a private unlisted. That's really cool. So they can go back and still have those you know, curated, edited videos, but of their really, family. To that's remember. a really good idea, actually. So we should do that. That is a really good idea. I need to do that more. Because, like, a photo album is great, but what's even better is, like, Yo, an edited, no, no, no. curated vlog. You know what I want to get is, um, I think that, that the new, like, VR thing that Apple made, it's like the uh, Apple's version of VR. You yeah, know that headset? you were talking to me about that. Okay, I don't know. I think this is correct, but I'm... Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is right, but apparently it has like multiple cameras so that when you're looking through the headset, you f you can put the headset on, you can record a memory, right? You could I could record myself right now in this podcast studio and show what I'm seeing and show my like show me and Abby interacting and I could record that so that like 5 years from now I can put the headset back on and play that same video what and relive. What if your headset breaks? I like that the internet is just going to be there probably, unless probably the world is collapsing. You could probably save it in, into the cloud. I'm sure See, you could save it. the cloud, it. if it's in the cloud, I'm never getting it again. I don't even Every, know All of our stuff is saved in the cloud. All of our stuff is in the cloud, Matt, dude. that's so ominous We don't me. have anything what, that's not saved in the cloud. the cloud? I feel like it's more scary to not have it in I the cloud. I feel like you don't even know what the cloud is yourself. You don't know what the cloud is, and that's why you're no, scared. No, I definitely don't know what the cloud is. Okay. <laughs> Um, we have a hard drive that's not saved to the cloud, and I'm worried that if that hard drive, like, say, caught on fire or broke or just stopped working one day, all those memories, like all of our wedding videos, gone. It's all on there. I need to move it over to the cloud. Anyway, back to what I was saying, though, is with, with the headset, I want to get that to show me, inter like, to record myself interacting with Augie and you and Griffin, and that'd be... I'm going to get emotional saying this, but I can't just imagine, like, 20 years from now putting that back on and then getting to relive that all over again and feel like I'm there. Um, that'd be really that'd and be hear precious. their voices yeah that's really precious because i wish i could hear my little voice because yeah. and like now we get to hear our little yeah. boys i try to remind myself sometimes like sometimes i'm trying to just when i'm putting griffin down at nighttime i'm like trying to just get it done so i can go out and just enjoy time with you or which in, obviously time with you is important and or maybe I'm, i have like a task i'm trying to complete right after i put him down to bed but I'm, i try to like really just like let myself like just relax and just like live in the moment for just just a second and just realize like mm. there's gonna be a day where i'm gonna wish i could just go back and put griffin down again for bed stop right when i said i wasn't gonna cry <laughs> oh, this dang it. you're trying to make me cry <laughs> i'm sorry but i remind myself that because i'm like i need a really appreciate this because this this isn't this won't last forever and there's just so much beauty in the everyday things that we have that I, you just got to cherish those moments for sure and then and there's nothing wrong with looking back to fond memories in the past there's nothing wrong with looking forward to you know experiences that you'll have in the future but if that all comes at the cost of overlooking the present then I think that's a really bad that's a really bad habit to build because you're going to live your, you're going to live your whole entire life looking to the past and the future and never fully living in the moment and that's really sad. That is. That's not a that's not a way to live. Got to enjoy the journey. How do we even get there? I think get we're to talking. The next question. I think we we're talking about your. Me <laughs> oh, it's I guess right here. You would say more rock would be a, a memory for you, which is really interesting because more. Wait, this is an example of glamorizing the past because more rock. I remember you were crying because you were so uncomfortable because we had hiked for. But 13 I was very happy when I got to the top. But you had you were crying, Abby. We had hiked 13 miles and you were yes. exhausted and you were like yes. i think you were you might have been mad at me too because of all the hiking that we I did think, well you're probably just was, frustrated at the situation yeah i was just scared because we were so even at that moment we were so far from our car we and had we, to hitchhike we to hitchhiked get to our back car to our car we made this nice Park ladies though and the pitch black that was yeah. a little bit that was beautiful that was dicey what is your partner's most prized possession that they would save during a fire uh we're both not very sentimental about items we don't keep money in our house, so there'd be no money to save. No, you might. <laughs> your mind is going so logical. Prize possession, like something that's valuable just to you, not necessarily to other people. Like, don't be thinking about your computer or something. Gosh, I don't even know. I, I mean, there's not really like a physical thing that I'm like, oh, you know what? Maybe it'd be all... Our love notes? That's what I was thinking of, our love notes to each other. Okay. 
Those would be precious. Whenever we are going through a bad rut in our marriage, I'll look at our love letters to each other and look mm. at those like those notes and it makes me really happy. I do that. If you weren't doing social media, what would your dream job be? Probably just working in a coffee shop for me. Oh, wait. You were supposed to guess each other's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yours is coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to think of a different one. I no, there's another one you can Wait, say. what would mine be? What would mine be though? That was so cute. You would just want to work at a coffee I feel shop. Like you'd be like the CEO of something. I don't know. I you'd have a be lot a, of a music artist. A music a music star? Music, a DJ? I, you would be a DJ. I keep joking when I'm like DJ's my answer locking it in. I keep joking to Abby's parents. I'm like, I'm gonna be a music star. Like I just like it's like an inside joke. You're manifesting. Because your mom is sarcastic. And so with your mom, I'm like, but it's How but your mom will be sarcastic. She'll be sarcastic, but then also serious at the same time. So I'm doing the same thing. Cause like I I would like for my music to do well. Why do you guys always play mental games? I don't know. But I just think it's funny to be like, I'm gonna be a music star. Cause it's, it's just funny, it just sounds so true. But it sounds so funny though. Like it sounds so, I don't know. Like a music star just sounds very um, arrogant. I don't know. No. I just think it's funny. Okay. Okay. Anyway. No, you have to say another job for me because I said this the other day. Um, You would have been an actress. If if you didn't have kids right now, you would have gotten to- I'm talking acting. about a realistic job. <sighs> we talked about you being a realtor at one point because you like to show no, houses. You'd no, be really no, good no, at no, that. No, 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 um, no, You- A librarian. I don't think you've ever voiced these to me, by the way. You're just like, I think you had this thought and you you thought that you said it to me, but you I definitely said never said that. I said it in the car. You never said that. In the car, I said it. Okay, next question. We talked to, yesterday about, yesterday we said that maybe you could have, you were telling mm -hmm. me that you want to have a cooking show, write a book, and do acting. And you yeah. told me, and this was on our walk around our neighborhood, you were like, maybe I'll do no, all three. No, you said that, and I was like, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I could do that. Maybe I'm just really good at figuring out things that you'd want to do. Because I'm like, oh, Abby, you could do a cooking show. Oh, Abby, you could write a book. Abby, you could be an actress. You're really good at acting. And then you just decided, so I want to do. in my head, I'm like, oh, I want to. I want to start a coffee shop. And then I'm like, no, realistically, I just want to make coffee and talk to people. So yeah. then probably I just want to work at a coffee shop. Exactly. Because owning the coffee shop. And then I'm like, maybe I want to write a children's book. I'm like, nope, I actually just want to read children's book to kids. I've thought about that too with music because I love EDM. And I'm like, I want to make EDM music. And I'm like, maybe I just want to listen to EDM. Mm -hmm. Like I, it gets me so hyped. I love the I love the vibe of it. Maybe I don't want to make it. Maybe I just like to consume the product itself. Yeah. But my creative brain does like to make things, so maybe I'll give it a shot and see what happens. Right now, I'm not making EDM, though, because I feel like, I don't know, I don't know. I'll probably make EDM music at some point in the future, but um, I think I'd want to like make it myself. I do that. Would your partner rather be loved, respected, admired, or feared? Wow. I would... What Yours would you, is respected. Yeah, well, I think I want to... I say... Res, I, I think sometimes if I don't feel respected, maybe I just want to feel respect. I think you want to be respected. Yes. Or do you want to be feared? Maybe you want to be feared. <laughs> <laughs> Fear, that's horrible. I don't think either one of us would have. I think we, I think, re, I think we both want to have respect. Yes. I think that's, I think, I think that's every good. human deserves that. Who is mo most likely to apologize first? Me. Me. No, not at all. Earlier today, you were like, can you please apologize? I said, I'm sorry. And I was like, immediate. Be here's the thing I always have to ask for the apology. I have Whereas to ask you for Whereas I an go apology. out of my way to apologize. That is not true. I'm not even going to get into this. Just that trust me, true. guys. I am quick with the I'm sorry. Heck no. Matt, Matt, they just don't come. They just never that actually is come. That is not even they true. They don't come. I don't even want to fight about this right now. Jeez. We're okay. on the internet. Where was your partner's first family vacation? That's a weird one. I don't know where your first family vacation was. Oh, I'm stupid. Disney World. Yeah, I would say yours is probably Florida. Probably Florida. Yeah. And if your partner had a superpower, what would it be? Like if we could choose a superpower or if we yeah. like already have a superpower? Yeah. What would it be if you could choose one? Oh, if I could choose one? Yeah, okay, well, I got mine. What would it be? Tell me what mine is. Okay. I was trying to see if you'd fall for that again. Uh, super strength. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, you are very strong. Maybe super strength. But my, I was thinking about flying. What would mine be? I want to fly. Yours would be like you could, you could just like look at me and see me naked. Oh, I can already do that. No, like you could see through my clothes. That's a really thing, weird thing to put on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would love that superpower. I would take it. I would take it. I would take it. I was thinking of flying, um, actually. Oh, we were both thinking yeah, of flying. Yeah, I was thinking of flying, yeah. What does that say about our personalities that we both wish we could fly? Yeah. But I did suggest that, though. I was like, Abby, we should make a rule in our room that we have to- That's why I said that. A no clothing rule in our bedroom. Yeah, that's That'd why be I said awesome. that. That'd be awesome. It'd be great. Mm. Yeah. 
Well, I think it's pretty clear that I know Matt better than he knows me. You beat me by one point. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We and know it was each also other really well. It was also on a technicality because I named all of your favorite Christmas movies. So, yeah. That's everybody's favorite Christmas movie. No, it's not. Elf, The Grinch, those are movies that like nobody ever watches. Those are like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like really not, pretty they're unique not, like, up for there. liking those. Yeah, you're very neat. Well, yeah. you guys, um, thank you so much for listening to this episode. We need to go because I really need a cheeseburger. Okay, we're going to go get some cheeseburgers. Um, if you haven't already uh, hit the like button and subscribe to our podcast, you can do that. And if you're listening on um, a podcast platform, just just like review us or something. That would be awesome. And until next time. Three, two, one. Peace, peace out, out, dudes. dudes.